All right. So let's come to our seats and take just a moment to sit up tall, let your tailbone slide down into the chair. Let it be really heavy. And then start to lift the crown of your head. So the spot where if you had a crown, you would be wearing it. Lift it up towards the ceiling so that you lengthen the back of your neck and start to lengthen all the way through the spine. Pressing down into the tailbone at the same time as you're pressing up through the crown of the head. Imagine the spine like a slinky. If you were holding a slinky between your two hands, you'd pull it apart and you'd make space between the coils. Imagine that's what we're doing with the spine, making space between the vertebrae. And then tuck the chin to the chest. Slowly tilt the head back so that your gaze goes up towards the ceiling. And then again, tuck the chin. Tilt the head, look up towards the ceiling. Take that a couple more times, nice and slow. Warming up through the neck. And then the next time the head comes back to center, pause. Keep the rest of the body still and turn just the head over to the right. Then come back through center, turn the head to the left, through center, to the right, and through center, to the left. A couple more times at your own pace, taking this slow motion, no movement. And then the next time the chin comes back to center, pause. And again, tuck the chin to the chest. And this time roll the chin over towards the right shoulder. And then roll back through center and roll to the left. Roll through center, roll to the right. Through center and to the left. A couple more. If there's any place that feels really good and you wanna pause for a moment and enjoy a little bit longer of a stretch, you can certainly do that. And then when you feel like you've had enough, roll the chin back to center and then lift the chin up so that your gaze is straight ahead. We'll drop the right arm towards the floor, lift the left hand overhead, press down into the left hip, and then tilt to the right, taking a long stretch through the left side body. And then reach up both arms up through center, bless you. And then drop the left arm, right hand reaches up, right hip reaches down, and then we'll tip to the left. Both arms reach up through center, and this time we'll twist the whole upper body. So the belly, the ribs, the chest, to the right. Left hand comes to the right thigh. Right arm comes to the back of your chair, or comes out behind you like a cactus. Maybe you look over the right shoulder, Maybe your neck isn't ready for that yet and you just look off to the, to the right. And 
then come on back through center, reach both arms up, look up, and then we'll twist to the left. Right hand comes to the left thigh, left arm comes out like a cactus or rests on the back of your chair. back through center. Both hands can come to the thighs. Scooch a little bit forward so that you can place both feet on the floor and your back is not supported by the back of the chair. And we'll move into cat and cow. So start to press the belly forward, then the heart. Let the shoulder blades pull together and then look up towards the ceiling. And then tuck the chin. Let the shoulder blades pull away from the spine. Let the belly and the spine come together as we come into cat. Belly and the heart come forward. We look up into cow. Tuck the chin. Belly button comes to the spine. Into cat. Push forward into cow. Round into cat. A little more here at your own pace. Pausing anywhere that feels good. And then when you feel like you've had enough, you can come back to a neutral spine and we'll start to warm up through the feet or through the legs. So extend the right leg long, you can clasp your hand behind the, the right thigh, point and flex through the foot, waking up through the ankle and the toes. And then take some circles with the ankle, going in one direction, and then going in the opposite direction. And then pull the knee in towards the body, and then extend it long, push through the heel, pull the knee in, extend it long. Again, a couple more times here. Warming up through the knee and through the hip. And the next time the leg is long, pause there and see if you can take that leg out to the right a couple of inches and then back in, out to the right, and back in. See how still you can keep the rest of your body so that we're just using the hip, using the hip like a hinge to open and close the leg. And then the next time the leg is out straight in front of you, bend the knee, pull the knee in towards the body and switch your grip so that you can take some circles Drawing circles on the ceiling with the knee, but warming up through the hip joint. And then take the knee in the opposite direction. Good. Right foot can come back to the floor and we'll take the left leg. Clasp the hands behind the left leg, extend it long, point and flex through the foot. And then circle through the ankle. And go in the opposite direction. And then start to bend the knee, pull the knee in towards the body, extend it long, push out through the heel, bring it in. Push it long, stretching out through the quad and the hamstring. Next time the leg is long, pause, and then take that leg out to the left a few inches and back in and out and in, trying to keep the rest of the body still. You might feel in the belly the work that it takes Take that leg out to the side. And then the next time the leg is straight in front of you, draw the knee in, switch your grip, 
so that you can take some circles with the knee. Warming up through the whole hip joint and then go in the opposite direction. All right, bring both feet to the floor. Again, if you slid a little back on your chair, come forward so that both feet are pressing into the ground. And take a moment to feel your feet here. So even inside your shoes, try to spread out your toes, make some space. And then press your feet into the floor, feeling how that activates the muscles in the legs, even activates through the belly a little bit. Notice how even the muscles in your bum start to tighten up a little bit, like your body is preparing to stand up, to get up from the chair. So even though we're not doing that, those muscles are still getting ready for that work. And then you can release that. Before we get up and move to the back of our chair, let's just take some shoulder circles. So using one shoulder at a time, bringing the shoulder forward, up, back, and down, alternating sides. And then pause, whichever shoulder is back, bring it forward. So same thing, but now we're just going forward instead of backwards. Good. Come on back to a neutral position. You could flap out the hands, shake out the arms, and we will come up to stand. So you can stand behind your chair. And I'm going to stand to the side of my chair so you can see me. We're gonna continue with those shoulder rolls, but now we'll add the elbows. So kind of leading with the elbow. Taking each shoulder back. And maybe you feel the hips and the knees start to get into it a little bit too. And then we'll pause and take that shoulder forward. stillness, bring the arms out to the sides, long arms, long through the fingers. Start to take some really small circles with the arms, like you're tracing a golf ball size circle. And gradually those circles get a little bit bigger and bigger and bigger until they're about beach ball size and then maybe hula hoop size. And then pause. Now go backwards, but backwards with those big circles and let them slowly get smaller and smaller and smaller until we finally come to those little golf ball size circles. Good. Bring the arms down to the sides. We're just going to swing through the arms. Come up onto that toe as you swing away. center and we're going to take some uh, reaches here. So I'll have you reach with the left hand off to the right, come up onto the left toes and then we'll take the opposite direction. Reach to the left, come up onto the right toes. Reach and reach and get the fingers into it too. Warming up through all those tiny little joints in the fingers. And then we'll take the same thing, but we'll reach up and up and up, like you're trying to pick apples off a tree. And then down and down and down, like you're trying to pick a jacket up off the floor. back to center. You can march it out. You can swing the arms again if that feels good. With the hands in
in some loose fists at your sides. We're going to bring the shoulders forward and then back and then forward and then back. So just like we were doing cat and cow earlier, but now we're getting not just the shoulders and not just the belly and the back into it, but the arms too. And even the hips, the knees a little bit. A couple more. Good. Arms can come back to the sides. We'll take a few shoulder shrugs. So lifting the shoulders up and then letting them slide down. Lift them up, slide them down, lift them up, slide them down. A couple more here at your own pace. Good. Shake it out. Arms come to the sides. We'll turn the palms out. Lift the arms up to shoulder height. Reach forward like you're going to hug somebody in front of you. Extend the arms back to the sides and push the palms down. Again, lift, hug, release, down, lift, hug, release, down, lift, hug, release, down, lift, hug, release, down. One more, lift, hug, release, and down. Good. Bring your hands together and bring them in front of your chest. We're going to push the hands straight up and then turn the palms and push away like you're trying to push the walls away from you. And then again, bring the hands together, push them straight up, turn the palms out, press the walls away. Hands come up through the center, turn the palms, press the walls away. Two more. Slide the hands up, turn the palms, press the walls away. One more, reach the hands up, turn the palms, press the walls away. Good, shake that out. I'm gonna come stand behind my chair so you can see me. And we're going to start with our weight shifts. So bringing the feet about hip distance apart can use the fingertips on the back of the chair for balance if you like. We're just going to shift the weight into the right foot and then come back through center. Shift the weight into the left foot. Keep the right foot on the ground. Back through center. Shift to the right. Through center. To the left. And center. Take that one more time in each direction. And then when you get back to center, pause. Now take the weight forward into your toes, but keep the heels on the ground, just like you're leaning forward from the ankles. And then come back to center, and then bring the weight into the heels, but the toes stay on the ground. Come on back through center, bring the weight forward, center, back, center, forward, center, back, center. Can you do it without the chair? Forward, center, back, center. Now bring it forward, then take it to the left, then to the back, then to the right, then forward, to the left, to the back, to the right. Now come back to center, this time, go back, go forward, go right, go left, like you're one of those uh, weeble wobbles. Back, forward, right, and left. Good. Come on back through center. You can march it out if you like. We'll take our toe lifts. So you can continue facing the back of your chair. I'm just turned so that you can see what I'm doing. We'll rise up onto the toes, lift the heels off the floor, and then bring the heels back down. Rise up, lower down, rise up, 
lower down. Maybe you use the chair, maybe not. <coughs> a couple more times. You might start to feel it in the calves. Two more. Last one. <coughs> Good. March it out. Bless you. And then we'll take our toe lifts. Now remember, this is the tiniest little movement. We're just going to curl the toes up towards the shins and then release. Curl the toes up. Everything else stays on the floor. Curl the toes up. Such a tiny movement, you can barely even see it. A couple more. You might feel that pressure in your shins as you curl the toes up towards the legs. Take two more. Last one. Good. March it out. Still facing the back of the chair, we'll shift the weight onto the left leg. Bring the right foot out just a couple inches, just so it's a little bit um, out a little bit further than it was. Tuck in the belly, right? Because we don't want that left hip to pop out to the side. You want it tucked in. And to do that, we've got to tuck in the belly. Lead with the side of your foot, and we'll lift the leg out to the side, and then lower, lift, and lower. You could bring the foot down, or you could just let it hover. Lift, and lower, lift, and lower. Can you lift one hand off the chair? A couple more. This doesn't have to be a big movement. It doesn't have to be a big lift. What we want it to be is controlled. Let's take one more. <clears throat> Good, bring that foot back down, march it out. And we'll take the left side. So shift your weight onto the right leg, but pull that right hip back in. Use the belly to hold you up. Left foot comes out and leading with the side of the foot. We'll lift and lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower. You're building strength in the right, in the left outer hip here. And also through the whole right leg is your weight rests on that right leg. Let's take two more. Last one. Good. Bring that foot down, march it out. <coughs> We'll take the same thing, but to the back. So shifting the weight onto the left leg. Again, we're gonna keep that left hip tucked in. Bring the right toes back a couple of inches, and we're gonna keep the upper body upright. So we're not gonna lean down over the back of the chair. Leading with the heel, we'll lift the right leg towards the back of the room and lower, lift and lower. It's a very small movement. You'll feel it in the back of the leg and also in the bum, in the glute. Try to keep the upper body up. Gaze is straight ahead. Let's take two more. Last one. Good, bring that foot down, march it out. <clears throat> and we'll take the second side. So shift the weight into the right leg, bring the left foot, left toes back a couple of inches, upper body stays up, and leading with the heel, we'll lift towards the back of the room, and lower, lift, and lower. So we wanna keep that upper body up. We don't wanna hinge forward as we lift the leg. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, let's take two more. Lift and lower, one more. Lift and lower, good. March it out. Let's take some side steps. So we'll start with feet together and hands can rest on the back of the chair if you like. Starting with the left foot, we'll step out to the left and then bring the right foot to meet it then step right back to the center, and then bring the left foot to meet the right foot. 
Now step out to the right, left foot comes to meet it, left foot comes to center, right foot comes to center. Left foot goes out, right foot meets it, right foot goes to center, left foot comes in. To the right, to the center, to the left, to the center. To the right, to the center, to the left, to the center. Let's take two more in each direction, right? Center, left, center, one more, right, center, left, center. Good. March it out. We'll take heels up, toe, toes up. So feet about hip distance apart. We'll rise up onto the toes, lift the heels off the ground, and then bring the heels down. Shift your weight back into the heels as the toes come up. So the bum does come back a little bit. Come forward, up onto the toes, come down, shift back onto the heels. Come forward, up onto the toes, come down, back onto the heels. Toes, heels, toes, heels. Can you do it without the chair? Toes, heels, toes, heels. Feel the work the belly's doing, toes. Heels, let's take one more, toes, heels. Good, march it out. <clears throat> all right, so we are all gonna turn so that we're all facing the wall with the clock. All right, so one hand resting on the back of the chair. Leg that is closest to the chair is going to be your standing leg. Other leg will be your working leg. So bring the toes of your working leg a couple inches forward. Shift your weight onto the standing leg and then bring that hip in. Okay, we want that hip nice and strong right under the shoulder. You might want to rest your hand on the thigh of the working leg that way you'll be able to feel it working. We'll lift that leg to the front and then lower it down. Lift and lower. Remember it's a lift, it's not a kick. There's no momentum here just lifting, lift and lower, lift and lower. Maybe you only lift it a couple inches, doesn't matter. What matters is the control. Let's take two more, lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, bring that foot down, march it out. We'll move on to toe taps. So shifting your weight onto the standing leg with the working leg, we'll tap to the front and then tap to the back. Tap to the front, tap to the back. Tap to the front, tap to the back, tap to the front, tap to the back. One more, tap to the front, tap to the back. Come back to center, <clears throat> excuse me. Take the same thing again, but we'll add in our side tap. Tap to the front, tap to the side, tap to the back, tap to center. Tap to the front, tap to the side, tap to the back, tap to center. Front, side, back, center, front, side, back, center, front, side, back, center, front, side, back, center. Two more, front, side, back, center. Last one, front, side, back, center. March it out. I don't know about everybody else, but my standing leg is getting rather sore. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> With your left leg, we're gonna take a big step forward Shift all your weight onto that left foot and then push off the left foot to come back to stand. Big step forward, shift your weight, push off the foot to come back. Step forward, push back, step forward, push back, step forward, 
push back, step forward, push back, two more, step forward, push back, step forward, push back, good. March it out, and we'll take the same thing to the side. So big step out to the left, sit down into that heel, so we're, or into that hip. We've got all our weight on that left foot, and then push off the left foot to come back to stand. Step out, push off, it's like a lunge to the side. Step out, push off, step out, push off, step out, push off, step out, push off, two more, step out, push off, last one, step out, push off, good, march out, and then we'll step to the back. So taking a step back with the left foot, sit back into that left hip, come up onto the right heel, and then push off with that left foot. Good, step back, push forward, 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 two more, step back, push forward, last one, step back, push forward, good, march it out. And then last, we'll take a step forward with that left foot, make sure you've got some space between your feet, okay, so you don't, not like you're on a tightrope, but more like you're on railroad tracks. We'll shift the weight into the front foot, come up onto the back toes, and then shift the weight into the back foot, come up onto the front heel. Shift the weight forward, shift the weight back, shift the weight forward, shift the weight back, forward and back, forward and back, two more, forward and back, forward and back. Good, march it out. We'll all turn ourselves around to the other side. And then we'll take the same thing on the opposite leg. So now the left leg is the standing leg, the right leg is the working leg. And we'll start with our leg lifts to the front. So shift your weight onto the left leg, but keep that hip tucked in. And we'll lift the right leg and lower. Lift slowly, like you're trying to lift your leg through mud. That also, thinking of it that way, also helps you to keep from using momentum. Lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower. Two more, lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Good, bring that foot down, march it out. Toe taps, so we'll tap to the front, tap to the back, tap to the front, tap to the back, tap to the front, Back to the back, to the front, to the back, to the front, to the back, to the front, to the back, two more, to the front, to the back, last one, to the front, to the back. Good. Bring that foot back to center. Take our toe taps again. We'll add in the one to the side. Tap to the front, tap to the side, tap to the back, come back to center. Tap to the front, tap to the side, tap to the back, to center. Front, side, back, center, front, side, back, center. Can you do it without holding on to the chair? Chair's always there if you need it. Side, back, center. Two more. Front, side, back, center. Last one. Front, side, back, center. Good. March it out. And then with the right foot, we'll take a big step forward, shift your weight into that right leg, push off the right foot to come back to stand. Come forward, push off, come forward, push off, come forward, push off, again, good. 
Two more. Forward. Push off. Last one. Forward. Push off. Good. Push it out. Big step out to the side. Sit back into that right hip. And then push off the right foot to come back up to stand. Step out. Sit back. Push off. We want to bring our full weight into that right foot. Push off. Step out. Push off. Step out. Push off. Two more. Step out. Push off. Last one. Good. Push out. And to the back. So with the right foot, we're going to step back. Sit back into that right hip. And then push off that right foot to come back. Sit back. Push off. Step back. Sit back into that hip. Push off. Step back. Push off. Step back. Push off. Two more. Step back. Push off. Everybody looks good. Last one. Good. Push it out. And we'll take our weight shift. So stepping forward with the right foot, space between the feet, shift the weight into the front foot, come up onto the back toes, shift the weight into the back foot, come up onto the front heel. Shift the weight forward into the front foot, and then back into the back foot. Forward, and back, forward, and back, forward, back, two more, forward, and back, last one, forward, and back, good, march it out, come to face the back of your chair, bring your feet out so they're as wide as the legs of your chair, we'll take some hamstring curls, so shift your weight onto the right leg, bring the left foot up so the heel comes towards your bum, then bring the left foot down, and the right foot comes up. Right foot down, left foot up, left foot down, right foot up. Feel that little squeeze in the back of the leg as you do this. Let's take two more on each side. One more, good, both feet down, arch it out. <clears throat> Excuse me, squats. So feet about hip distance apart. Chest is gonna stay up, gaze is gonna stay straight ahead. Starting with the bum, we are always gonna start with the bum. You're gonna sit the bum out and back, then down. And then to come back up, we'll push into the feet to stand back up. So stick the bum out, sit the bum down, push into the feet to stand up. Bum goes out and down, push into the feet to stand. Out, down, push to stand. And if you want to keep the fingertips balanced on the back of the chair, you can do that. Or you could try it without. That's up to you. You could just let the hands hover above the back of the chair. Out, down, press to stand. Out, down, press to stand. Two more, out, down, press to stand. Last one, out, down, press to stand. Good. All this week in my classes for our balancing pose, we've been taking um, Dancer, which is a yoga pose. We're going to try it here today, too. Um, I'm going to turn so you can see what I'm doing, but you can all keep facing the back of your chair. So let's start on the right leg. So shift your weight into the right leg. Bring your knees together. All right, so we want the knees, we want the legs touching each other. Start to bend the left knee. So the thighs are still together. We're bending the left knee like we're trying to bring the left heel to the bum. With the left hand, 
reach the left hand up, circle it back, and see, can you get anywhere near that foot? Okay, maybe, right, you might. You might be able to grab onto the ankle or to the, to the um, top of the foot. If you can, that's fantastic. If you can't, don't worry about it. Instead, keep bending that knee, pulling the heel towards the bum like you're doing a hamstring curl, and keep reaching that left hand back like you're trying to reach for the foot. Then, if you feel good, you could lift your right hand off the chair <laughs> and up towards the ceiling. Yeah, right. Or you could lift the right hand just to hover over the chair. <laughs> and then when you've had enough, bring the foot down. All right? So the full expression of dancer, if you were seeing like a, an experienced yogi do it in a yoga class, would be like this, and then you might start to oh, yeah. tip, okay? But, but, we don't care about that. All we care about is, can I stand on one foot while also getting some work in the back of this thigh here, and maybe getting some range of motion in this left shoulder blade here? That's all I care about. I don't care if you can do the full expression of dancer pose, right? But for our purposes, for our balance and mobility purposes, that does a lot, right? All right, let's take the second side. So I'm gonna turn around. You don't have to turn around. You keep facing back of your chair. So now we're gonna come to stand on the left leg. Again, bring the knees together. Start to bend the right knee, bringing the right heel towards the bum. Reach up with the right hand, and then circle the arm back, pull that right shoulder blade in towards the spine, and then, are you anywhere near that foot? Maybe, maybe not, that's okay. But can you stand in this position, and maybe lift the left hand off the chair, even just for a second or two? And then when you're done, bring the foot down, shake out the arms. It's all good. All right, let's come to sit. And we'll take some stretches. All right, come to sit so that you're pretty close to the edge of your chair. So that just your bum is perched on the edge of the chair. Extend the left leg, come up onto the left heel. Keep the right leg bent. Press the heel into the floor. You should feel a stretch up the back of the calf, maybe up through the hamstring. If you'd like a little bit more of a stretch, keep your back straight and hinge forward from the hips over the legs. And then maybe you bring the hands to the right thigh and just press down into the right thigh. A lot of work in the hamstrings today. And come on back up and we'll just switch the legs. So bend the left knee, extend the right leg, come up onto the heel, press the heel into the floor. If you'd like a little bit more of a stretch, hinge forward over the legs. And then maybe bring the hands to the left thigh and press down. And come on back up scooch back on your chair a little bit, but still make sure you can um, have feet on the floor. Take the right ankle, bring it on top of the left knee, help it if it needs help, 
Use the right hand to push the right knee open. Pause here. How does that feel? Is that good? Or would you like a little bit more of a stretch? The answer is yes. Hinge forward from the hips, over the legs. Nice stretch in the right outer hip. back up and we'll switch sides right foot comes to the floor left ankle comes on top of the right leg use the left hand push the left knee open see how that feels and if you want more of a stretch hinge forward from the hips try to keep the back pretty flat if you round through the shoulders it's not going to hurt you but you just don't get as much of a stretch in the hip as you would if the back is reasonably flat. And then come on back up, bring both feet to the floor, clasp the hands together, push the hands away from you. Let that pull the shoulder blades apart. Maybe even pull the belly button in towards the spine. Kind of an extended cat pose here. You could even tuck the chin a little bit if you wanted to. And then release. And to reverse that, we'll circle the shoulders back, clasp the hands behind you if you can. If not, take two handfuls of your shirt and then Pull the shoulder blades together to open up the chest. And if it feels good, maybe you look up. So sort of an extended cow pose. And then slowly start to let that go. And that's it. I'm going to pause our video here.